Hello, this is from Tesla Owners US and today we have Sean here and Sean is eliminating an example or a, a problem what I had since uh, a little while and uh, I show you this is the picture for that so you get 12 volt battery is not working you need to be replaced and that's actually a lie and we tell you why after this intro birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun oh um, we know what we have let's hold on tight found what we're looking for in life okay, we want to explain you that but before we don't do that we want to give sean the Honorary Mask Award, let me say it like that. <laughs> so it's a Tesla Owners US mask and he gets it because of the special services what he does for Teslas and he can uh, wear that mask now uh, and can operate with that mask. <laughs> can do any surgeries with that yeah, mask now. Yeah. It's probably too short. Yeah. Too long. Too long. It's, uh, too long. it's to make it shorter. Okay. And that is an honorary award for big services for Teslas or with Tesla owners. And they are getting that for, I gave it from one, one of my technicians already. Or from, and Sean gets it because he puts a lot of effort in to make you your car more affordable, economical, especially for electric cars. He is all in electric cars. And now we're going to show you why the battery needs to be replaced. Actually, this one, the 12 volt battery. So, when you have got this message, 12 volt battery needs to be replaced, needs service or so on, then it's really not true. Especially when you have those Omnu batteries in there and Sean is explaining why that is the case. Yes. Yeah. So, the there was a software update that happened around August, and in that software update, Tesla's uh, internal method for testing the battery uh, changed. The, the limits, the parameters that they were using to determine um, what they would consider, what they would want the car to consider a good battery versus a uh, battery that needs to be replaced, uh, were, were changed. And so our original battery design uh, was failing their test, but I was failing their test in a good way because the test that we're failing is capacity and that we have too much capacity. And so the additional amp hours of our battery, the, the excessively additional amp hours of our original battery were too high. And so the car would, uh, would, would do its test about how much energy goes into that battery to, to charge it up and uh, it would find that there's, there's, it's taking too much energy to charge up. And so then it would uh, then it would it would give you the alert that you need to change your 12 volt battery even though you've got this better lithium battery in your car. None of the other symptoms of a 12, low 12 volt battery would come up. You won't have any actual uh, usability issues. Your windows will all work fine. Everything, the radios, everything's going to work fine. Best, basically, what it is, you had a better battery with a higher capacity in the car, but still got the message. Oh, by the way, your battery is bad. Yeah, which is wrong. It's totally right? wrong. Right. Yeah. So we we went uh, we redesigned our battery though uh, in order to to pass their test. So it's still better, but it's not uh, it's not as high of amp hours capacity as we used to be. So we had to taper down our amp hour capacity in order to to make sure that we are always gonna uh, the car is always gonna pass that test with our battery in it, so, so that you don't get the alert. Yeah. So he he did have to make basically he did have to make his battery worse from capacity wise. Yep. Which is not nice, <laughs> and uh, he probably uh, could not get them to change any software of that. Not on the short term. They yeah. might. They might in the long term. We did have good conversations with uh, the engineering team over there that works on this stuff. Yeah. Um, and of course, they have. They they have uh, only. Their only allegiance is to to their mission there, and they're uh, they they're, are servicing lead acid batteries. Yeah, and they are they are servicing lead Still acid the batteries. Still, polluting and, you know, lead and acid batteries, which need to be replaced here in Arizona every two years. But now we want to come to the task and 
hey, let's change the battery out and then we yes. take yep. the other battery. Yeah, so we'll do the, the swap out. It's very quick and easy. It takes about five minutes. Um, you just open the back passenger door, uh -huh. open the front, and then power off on the center screen. Yeah. Then I'll show you what we do in the back. We're going to unplug something under the seat, and then we're going to disconnect the battery, swap it out, put it, uh, replug the connector in the back seat, and then connect their 12 volt battery again, and then you're good to go. All right, let's do that. Okay, good. Let's start. Okay, the first thing to do is power off the car. Should we first change this to English, or do you want to do this in German first? No, it's just in English is fine. Well, because yeah? the display is in German, is what I'm saying. Oh, the display is in German, yes. Also, das erste, was man machen muss, muss man den Power of the Car, und das müsste hier sein bei Sicherheit, so, und den Fahrzeug ausschalten. So, okay, so. gut, dann ist er in den Deutschen zuerst. Oh ja, das ist es. Yeah, let's go. So. Okay, there's a little clip under the seat that you slide that direction. It looks like that. Yeah. And then underneath, there's a foam block. Remove that. Yeah. Then there's a, a connector right here. That's what we're going to disconnect. You pinch the top to unlock it, then rotate it down. That will allow it to unlock once you've rotated it fully oh, 90 that's degrees. The, that's the DC connection, right? That yeah. is the, it's the, it controls the high voltage relay. So it actually turns the big battery off when you do that. Okay. Now, coming now, to the trunk. We're just going to remove this cover. And then this cover. Oh, that is for the intake. Yeah. It's all clipped. And then we'll disconnect the negative side and the battery. First negative. Then the car will, you'll hear all the sounds stop because now it doesn't have any 12 volt power. Yeah. Take off. The tie down strap. And then disconnect the positive side. Excellent. Now this battery can come out. Can you recycle that battery? Uh, we will actually reuse them uh, for different vehicles. Oh. Yeah, so the Toyota Prius, yes. the, uh, the Chevy Bolt, and the Nissan Leaf all use the same, can all use the same battery. And so uh, the ones that are coming back to us, the Rev1 versions of our Model 3 battery, yeah. uh, we're, we're repurposing them for those vehicles. Okay. I'm going to grab a new set of adapters for this. Yeah. But it's... Uh, yeah, I'll grab one here. So now you stick stick this on it, right? So this is the kind of a LED piece, right? Yeah, yeah, these are like mm. the little LED adapters. Yeah. Then we can put the tie down back on. Good that that tie down is not so complicated. Secure it. Then you can attack attach the positive side. Secure it. Yeah. Now, before we attach the negative, let's go ahead and put this back on. And then we'll plug in the plug under the back seat. The okay. reason I try to do all of that before we do the plug in is yeah. just to make sure that there's enough time with the for the car to, to reset all of its computers. You want to make sure you disconnect the plug and the battery for at least five minutes. But if you're really fast at this process, you could easily do it in less than five minutes. So then just, just wait a few minutes. Make sure you give it at least five minutes. Otherwise, you might have the alert still there. Most likely, it won't be. Yeah. But uh, if you don't give it enough time, sometimes all the computers don't reset. Okay, good. So now, coming back to that plug. Yep. So it's under the seat. Yeah, so plugging it in, you just keep this at a 90 degree on the side, start to push it downwards, and then rotate this up. 
you'll hear it click. Mm -hmm. and then push, just pull up a little bit to make sure it's firm. It is, then put this foam block in place. Then let the seat go back into its spot. Make sure the little this knobs is lined up, right? Is lined up. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then and press it down, right? Yeah. And then you'll hear it click, and it's secure. Okay. Now we should have passed five minutes, and we could. And the one more critical thing about this process. Yeah. With the car, when the car is powered off don't change the position of the doors. The reason for that is that the, the, the car uh, moves the windows up and down as the doors open and close. But if the car is totally powered off, it doesn't have the power to do that. And yes. so if you close the door, you might, um, the, it, may, it may close fine, but uh, when you power everything back up, the window regulator will be out of calibration because it will have the door closed, but the window in the wrong position because it won't have raised up to where it should be. Yeah. So just make sure you don't change any of the door positions while while you're powered down. Okay. Uh, now connect the, the negative ground, side. The negative side, ground. Once you do that, you'll hear clicks and everything kind of come back to life. Yes. Secure it, and then you can put this cover back in place. Excellent. That's all there is to it. Now we can start the car again, right? Yeah. Put your foot on the brake and it'll wake back up. Wanna put this in the side? Yeah, let me go to the side. You need to wait until it wakes up, which just doesn't do it right now. Then put your foot back on the brake and message is gone. Right? Yes. And then we can turn the rock off. Okay. Yes, all done. Perfect. So now we can close the doors again. Uh, and put that position, window position up. Okay, we did it. Message is gone. Now we can upgrade the software. Yes. You know, the other problem with this was you could not upgrade your software because it was locking the software upgrade because the 12 volt battery message. Yeah. And that is, uh, <laughs> that is the most miserable thing, <laughs> right? Because you want to have enough software update there. Yeah, I think you couldn't do it. Hey, first of all, we would say thank you for everything, Sean, so replacing the battery, uh, and uh, and uh, we can make use out of the other battery as well. This is good. We can. Yeah. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's it. And uh, subscribe to the channel, thumbs up, and see you next time with a lot of tips for Teslas and other electric cars.